Yo guys, what's going on? And today I have a review on the set 76080 Aisha's Revenge. Their price is twenty nine ninety nine. Their recommended ages are 7 through 14. And as a piece count of 323. This set comes with four figures. Yondu, Groot, Aisha and star -Lord. It also comes with three builds. This drone, this weird rock thing, and this really cool yellow spaceship. Now, let's get started on the minifigures themselves. Her first minifigure is Aisha. I really like this minifigure. She comes with this nice but simple control that I guess is meant to control the drone you see in the back there. Now, the actual minifigure itself comes with this amazing gold hairpiece. It's really cool to get this in gold. The head has two sides. The calm face, as you're seeing now. The other side, if I could just rotate, work for me, is a more angry uh, face. The head looks just like the actress Elizabeth Debecki who portrays her in the film. Now, the torso. Now, the torso. It's nothing like what she wears in the film. Just doesn't look like it whatsoever. It looks more like a sovereign pilot than the real Aisha, but that is because Lego base all of their sets of concept art. The printing is amazing. Though it's got amazing, it's got some really cool gold and grey lines. There is also back printing, but when you put on the gold hair, it it covers up most of the back printing. But that is just nitpicking work. Right, the leg printing is amazing. It carries on the lines from the torso. But yeah, this um, minifigure is a great and needed inclusion and addition to this brilliant set. Our second minifigure is Groot. He comes with the batteries that they steal in the film. This figure is so adorable. The printing is amazing. The uniform is so cute and the face is so much like the characters in the film. This is a new mould with Lego with a clip on each side. This set is the cheapest way to get your hands on a Groot minifigure. It's the cheapest way to get on a group minifigure, big or small. Yeah, this is a cute and adorable minifigure, which looks exactly like he does in, his, in the film. And it's so adorable. And it is one of the best in the wave of Guardians Galaxy Vol. 2 minifigures. Now, on to our next minifigure. Our third minifigure is our new Star Lord. This figure comes with a pair of Star Lord guns, which debuted last year. Oh no, not last year, 2014, sorry. But taking them off, you can see that his torso is very much like what he wears, his casual clothes, and the film, including the t shirt. But as you can see, he has a jetpack on the back, which doesn't look like it does in the movie, because in the movie, it gives him more of a breastplate, a bit round here. Um, but, yeah, that is just nitpicking. Um, there, the hair is just like the hair in the film. 
and I think this had debuted in Black Panther Pursuit last year. The head is a standard Chris Pratt slash Winter Soldier head. The first expression says smirk, as you are seeing now. The second one is a more angry face. Sadly, there is no leg printing, and he just has a pair of plain black legs, unlike last year's thing. Sadly, there are there is no helmet or mask piece included in this set. But that is our new Star Lord Casual. Is how I refer it to as. Alright, on to our last figure. Yondu! This mini figure is amazing. He comes with a gold arrow, but it is black in the film. I don't understand why Vego made it gold. It's really weird. Anyway, the fin piece on his head is an entirely new piece and it looks amazing. It looks exactly like the fin does in the film. The face is an entirely new face. It's not exactly like Michael Rooker's. The printing on the torso looked amazing. It looks like the outfit he sports in the film. He has some simple back printing, but it does its job. But yeah, he has some leg printing, which just carries on the jacket and short and jacket and shirt design, sorry. Yeah, and yeah, this is by far the best mini figure I have so far out of the Guardians Galaxy Evolve 2 range. The other set I have is 76079 Ravenger Attack. But yeah, this is an amazing minifigure and definitely the best in this set. Our first build is this drone. It's a nice build. Um, I guess our first playability feature is that these weird things here can rotate a full 360. Both can rotate a full 360. And then this other one here is another joint there, which rotates another 360 on both sides. Look. But yeah, um, the second one, I guess, is these back engines here, which the if you, I'm not sure if you can see it. All right, so you see these purple dots here on the other side, and then you can flip them up or down. And then these really big ones at the back do the same. And then the final playability feature on this drone are these star shooters. And if you don't know how they work, let's take our guinea pig, Star Lord, and we need his board as well so you can. Alright, there you go, there's Star Lord. And hopefully, if you shoot that at him, or it went flying off, I missed. Let's try again. It's really hard to line up these things. Bam, there you go. It hit him. <laughs> there, that's it, really, for this drone. Um, nice and simple build. You see the engines smooth down all over. Only other thing I will say is this gold plate here keeps on falling off and I don't really see the point in it because it just falls off all the time but yeah on to our next build our second build is this weird rock platform thing which I don't understand is yeah it doesn't feature in the film not that I know of um yeah it is very very nice build um there's only one playability feature in this, which is this 
if you look at it there, you can see there's a push, which means it's not this, which you can see. Bam. That's it. That is literally it. Nothing else. But what they're going to suggest you do is you put Groot on it and get Aisha stand here. Take out that thing out of Groot. Sorry. And then get Aisha to stand here. And then you press down on the Groot. If this works. You press down on the Groot and bam. Fly. But yeah. That's basically that with this rock, and now on to our final build. Our final build is this amazing, really cool yellow spaceship, which has many, many, many playability features. I think it's the main part of the set, but yeah. Now, on to the main, what I would call, playability feature is how you get your figure you want to get in inside the cockpit area. So what you do is you get this, you slide it back, right back, and then it opens up a nice thing. Now, what you do is you look in there, and you just slot him in. And then you push it in, and then there you go, he's in. I would like to mention that this doesn't fully open but it does open a little bit, else there will be no need. Right, so the next thing is a spring-loaded shooter, where you get our guinea pig Aisha, and you just press it, and it fires off. You press the little red bit there. There's no mechanism, it is just you have to press the actual missile. And then the other, the other playability feature, I would say, is this or one of the other two is these that both of these doors open there's a fire extinguisher and there's this banner carrying on the trend that every there go marvel set i think has a fire extinguisher and on the other side you have this cabinet where you can put yondu's gold arrow in there and it's really fizzy, or you could, it's perfect size to fit in a little group. And now what I would say is our final playability feature is that these blue bits here can rotate 90 degrees. That slide, just slide 90 degrees basically. So you can have them like that, or like that when he's landed, or when he's flying at any angle you want but yeah nothing else really does anything on this yeah but it's a pretty solid build and now to wrap up this review for 29.99 you get four exclusive minifigures one which is amazing and a amazing little group. Um, you get two really nice builds: a space, the spaceship, and the drone, and a nice playability feature, which I don't really get what it does and what its purpose is. It looks like Pac-Man, right? Uh, but yeah, all in all, this set is worth is price point and i will see you next week with another lego video